New at 6 tonight, Valley Health officials, they are concerned about an outbreak of hepatitis A. Two years ago, there were zero cases here in Clark County, but today there are now 37 so far this year. And 13 Action News reporter Leah Pizzetti right now is live with a look at exactly who is at most at risk and also what we can all do to keep ourselves safe, Leah. Todd, it is places like this that are of the highest concern. It's clearly not clean, and this is what's adding to the spread of this infection. Out on the streets, life is hard. It's not good, but you're used to it. And for people like James Carter, it just becomes a way of life. He says homeless people in Las Vegas don't have restrooms, so. We all know where the people go, and that's like the spot to, you, to urinate or number two, so. Even when we have to go there, we're like tiptoeing around it. This is the problem. The Southern Nevada Health District says these dirty living situations are contributing to the current hepatitis A outbreak. The virus is being spread in the homeless community as well as drug users and others who interact with those people. Seeing clusters that tend to go around um, you know, homeless encampments. And the numbers have been quickly growing in the past years. Two or two and a half years where we've seen this sort of big rise nationally. In 2017, there were no reported cases of hepatitis A. In 2018, there were 17 reported cases. So far in 2019, there are already 37 reported cases and we're only six months in to 2019. We're not trying to be alarmist, but we are trying to sort of tackle this problem aggressively early on. So situations like what happened in San Diego, don't happen here. In 2017, San Diego's outbreak led to the death of 20 people. The city gave out vaccinations, installed public restrooms, and power washed the streets. Right now, all the Southern Nevada Health District is doing is advising health centers to vaccinate. All 37 cases this year were among unvaccinated people, and they're trying to figure out the exact areas this is stemming from to stop the spread, leaving people like James. Just try to stay away from the uh where they use the bathrooms at around here. Trying to do the best they can to stay clean. We asked the Southern Nevada Health District which specific areas of Clark County are being impacted the most. Right now, they don't know. So it is best for all of Clark County to be aware of their hygiene and take extra precautions when washing their hands. Reporting live, Leah Pizzetti, 13 Action News.